Hey, welcome to my video. In this video, I'm going to show you a couple tips and tricks on how to speed up your computer if it's running too slow. And the first tip is to always make a system restore before you edit anything major in your computer like deleting files or doing anything because the slightest mess up can harm your computer in the long run so first we're going to make a system restore so first you're going to hit start then you're going to right click on computer then you're going to hit properties and this window should come up and then you're going to hit system protection then you're going to create name it anything before edits then hit create and it should create a system restore point you should do this before anything major like if you're going to delete a program or a couple programs off your computer or if you're going to install a program you can do the system restore now that it's done making a system restore you just hit close and we can proceed to what we were doing and the first tip I'm going to show you is first you're going to hit start you're going to hit all programs you're going to scroll down until you get to accessories then you're going to system tools and then you're going to hit disk cleanup and you're going to pick which drive you want to clean most times it's going to be your C drive you're going to hit OK. I already did my disk cleanup, so I'm not going to do it again. And the time it takes to clean varies. It can take 5 minutes, it can take 20 minutes. It all depends on how many files you have on your computer. The next thing, you're going to go to the same place. You're going to hit Start, All Programs, Accessories, System Tools. And going to hit disk defragmenter. Once you hit disk defragmenter, it's going to show you all your uh, drivers. You're going to have your C drive, your recovery D drive, and your system. You're going to hit your C drive. You're going to hit. You're going to hit either analyze disk or defragment disk. You're going to hit all well, analyze disk. It Pretty much it figures out what needs to be defragmented before actually defragmenting it. And this is to actually defragment your disk. I'm not going to defragment because this actually does take quite a while. You might want to do this overnight if possible or uh, during a time where you're just going to leave your computer idle for at least an hour to two hours and the next thing I'm going to show you you're going to hit start you're going to type you're going to go right here and type in ms config and hit enter and that should bring this window up in this window you can alter what uh, what comes up during your startup when you first start up your computer if you don't want it to start up you just uncheck if you do want it to start up you leave that checkbox there you can go through each and every one of these and either check or uncheck what you want to come up during startup and then in your cert you can go to service tab up here and what you're going to do is you're going to click hide all Microsoft services right here because you don't want to disable any of those because those are important and you can go through all of these and pick which ones you want to run and which ones you do not want to run most of the time you don't want updaters to run really like that one or if you're not using your uh, iPhone you can uh, 
click Apple mobile devices really doesn't need to be running all the time unless you're using your mobile device at that time and once you're done you're going to hit apply or OK and I'm going to hit OK and it's going to ask you to restart you don't have to restart at this time you can just exit without restarting and bam there you go the next thing I want to show you is a free software called C Cleaner and it's free and all you're going to do is download and you can pick the free download it does everything you need it to do and when it once it's done downloading just double click yes go through the setup you can pick what you want to enable install and it's a fairly small file so it should install pretty quickly and once it's done hit finish this will pop up in your browser you can just close that out and then you're here you can hit clean which is run cleaner hit yes if you want to and this will clean up your internet files and your L empty recycle bin you can clean up your registry you should do this pretty much daily or every other day you are able to do everything that we just did in MS config you can pick what you want to start up you can find files you can do a system restore you can wipe your driver clean if you would like you can uninstall programs from this way or you can uninstall programs by hitting start control panel scrolling down until you find programs and features click that you can uninstall programs from this tool also without installing CCleaner if you don't want it and in CCleaner you can hit options and edit it the way you want this is a free tool this is an amazing tool I advise many of you to use it and it does come out with updates every month or two so I would advise you to stay up to date as well and the next thing I'm going to show you is a vast free antivirus you're going to hit Avast 2014 go to download you're going to download your Avast free antivirus go ahead and download free antivirus you hit download now we're going to wait for this to download I'm going to skip forward and once it's done you just double click on the installer wait for it to load regular installation contain I'm going to let this install 
I'm going to skip forward for y'all so you don't have to wait through this installation pro process. And once it's done, you just click done. And I'm going to click it over here to open. And once the program starts up, once the program starts up, it gives you many options like scan, tools, status. But the first thing you need to do is register. Click register, register your free antivirus. You just put in your first name, last name, email, and you type in an email. I'm not going to do that right here. And then you're going to hit register with email address. And once you've registered it, then you can use this anytime you want, all day, every day. Then you have different options such as tools scan which mods is done doing a scan right now as you can see I'm going to stop it actually you can either do a quick scan full scan removable media scan select folder to scan or boot time scan then once you pick you hit start You can do a browser cleanup. You can do a secure line. You can go to their store. You can go to my devices. Type in all that stuff. You can look at your statistics. All that. And this, this free antivirus has a lot of different things that many paid antiviruses don't have. So if I were to utilize this tool. And the very last thing I'm going to show you is how to optimize your system to go back to basic Windows XP. It makes it run a whole lot faster. But you'll have to go back to the basic look so you're going to hit start computer right click properties advanced system settings you're going to hit settings and under performance and in this bar you can either hit adjust for best performance custom which lets you pick the performance you want we're gonna try adjust for best performance and I'm gonna hit OK look at that And look at there, it sends us right back to the basics. Let's check out how fast the internet speed is. Let's try to go to yahoo.com. It loaded up pretty quickly. Well, as you can see, guy from Fast and Furious has passed. And that's all the tricks and tips I wanted to show you. I hope this helped. 
If you have any questions, please leave a comment. If you enjoyed my video, please like and subscribe. Have a good day.